Well, so far so good. I am transferring uh, the main uh, crankcase or housing from uh, Eminent Husqvarna 350, which is working uh, very good, but it lost uh, its muffler in its prehistory. And then uh, the plastic uh, casing melted. I glued it so I could test it. I glued it with a little metal plate. But that was just to uh, see how it, if it runs very good and there, if there was any problem. I suspect there could be a little bend on the shaft here. I'm not sure it could have been this uh, clutch uh, drum could be uh, have a little uh, it's not uh, completely round or it's a little it's like it's going a little bit wiggly but anyway I found this uh, house main uh, casing for Jonsred uh, uh, 2150 and it should be as I, far as I know exactly the same as Husqvarna 350 and I used the crank that was inside this uh, I used the crank here the old crank there so I don't need to philosoph uh, too much about if uh, there is some uh, bend on the crankshaft here so the common uh, very bad thing uh, on this chainsaws if the, you use it and the muffler is losing when you are in uh, activity and you don't notice it then you melt a big hole and uh, you damage the hole casing so they look very much the same yes they have the same uh, cool uh, uh, plate here which tell which saw it is but they are exactly the same and this part I got uh, on this I have some laying around because I bought a, a party from uh, from a farmer who, who had a lot of uh, scorn saws and parts so um, so I have uh, plenty of parts. Uh, the difference wrong. Some is missing uh, the feather, the, the the mechanism here inside, and uh, other things wrong. So, uh, but this uh, probably is okay. So yesterday I uh, transferred the, the piston because this chainsaw was gone and uh, no use for that cylinder and piston. I transferred the piston from uh, the 350 to the 2150 uh, uh, casing. So, so far so good. So now I want to continue. Then I found the cylinder. The coolest part would be if I could uh, could uh, put the whole thing with the carburetor and the exhaust muffler on directly into uh, there but I'm not sure if I am able to do that a lot of dust so I clean it a little so I'm not sure at all if this will work to enter the cylinder with a carburetor and exhaust muffler on but uh, I'm a little stubborn and uh, I try one more time I didn't have success the first time but I'll make a try I should uh, again I should have this Harry Houdini fingers
well, it worked. If I just can squeeze my finger out now. My, oh my. Actually, actually made it. And you have some rubber things behind there. You have this little funny one. It needs to go down there. And there is some rubber there. I need to enter down in that. There should be one on this side, but first I need to squeeze it into this side, so then bend it to the side, and then take out this. That's it, there. Very good. Then there is the rubber here. Can I just get it over? Yeah. enters in. That was a lot of things. I use uh, this rag so I get a better friction and grip and I just feel how much I need to tighten it. And I tightened this screw, it was a little loose. So hopefully this used uh, crankcase will do the job. So I have a new crank on the, uh, the red one there, but the same cylinder, and hopefully it will uh, work out good. So then I would like to take this uh, clutch off. I should have done it before I dismantled the piston maybe. So I, uh, but I, this is difficult to find a grip for me without breaking it. But I hope I can. Uh, I didn't tighten it too hard, as I remember. Maybe I should take off the spring. Try to turn it links. Yeah, it went went pretty easy. It was not tightened too much. So this is link links. warm gear to activate the oil pump warm gear aha it's missing oil pump there is no oil pump on it, so then I need to fix that. Might be an idea to brush it clean a little.
spring correct on place? No, it's not. The spring here is not correct mounted. I can see that. I disturb them. It should be more ah, this delicate clutch. This more like this, and this is not correct on place. Uh, important detail, I guess. Okay, the spring is not correctly on place. How do I solve that? I disturb them and I, uh, I mounted the clutch. How to fix that annoying uh, clutch? I uh, have to put the piston blocker. I don't have any choice. I figure. Then I can try to get this clutch off. And how do I do that? It shouldn't be tightened too much. Here's who made this clutch with no. Uh, uh, I don't know how to grip. You need a special tool or whatever. And when you do this, you can easily damage something. But you need to do something to get it loose. If you have a special grip or tool that I don't have. Now, can I solve this problem? The spring needs to be over here. And how on earth do I do that? I put it in the screw jaws. It might help to put it in the screw jaws. Well, I managed to put it on place in the screw jaws. So now the springs is uh, correct on place. Important to notice. Aha! This is the right way. And there you can <laughs> read off. And there is a gap there, you can uh, attach the tool, i show you how. So I uh, even put it wrong way, I put it this way, it's supposed to be this way. And remember it's links. Usually you don't have to tighten this clutch too much. Because it's kind of self-tightening, and normally you have a, you can put a pipe on here and you can tighten it. Uh, 
properly, but uh, not on this. Kind of you need a special tool or something to stick in there and to get some uh, power on it down there. So off with the piston stopper and then I go further. Putting back the spark plug. Okay. Drive position. Drive uh, run position. Stop position. Okay, then I got it. So I find out stop is there. Yeah. And um, this wire is a little have a little problem there. I guess there should be contact there now. So that's why it's broken. No contact there. Aye. <clears throat> Yeah, seems tight. So now there should be connection. Good. Good. Clean this up a little. So it's looking a little better.
Well, try to mount the speed and the fuel line. Fuel line is on place. Speed governor or a link Let's go into a small little hole behind there and then try to push it forward. That one in there. And uh, that one in front, in there, and there were some rubber things, they should be here, I guess, hope, isn't it there? And what kind of screw, ah, maybe it takes this to screw. should have a, so this is a little special screw with threads behind there on this top so it enters in like this yeah pretty tight entering fits very good And I need to squeeze it together so it don't turn around. Need to squeeze it to the side. Could this be right? There's no difference. Yeah, use my thumb, try to tighten it up. There is that. There was many threads. And uh, what's down there? Hope I don't miss anything here now. So maybe another rubber. Um, can I get this on place? Something happened there. It 
screw is turning and turning. Must say it's okay. This plastic is not so good. Got the spot, but I'm a little watching there. I guess there is supposed to be a rubber there. I need to investigate a little more, obviously. To find a part there. Well, I finally figured out a little. I see on this uh, back handle of fuel tank, I see this little uh, thing here. I hope I can take it out. Ah, then. It's pretty long. So this is supposed to be inside here, then, and I have lost it somewhere. Okay, yeah, something's happening, or almost happening, there, could that be right, if I put this on there, yeah, so this is loose, and it should not be, how to tighten that, this one don't go in there, Yeah. Okay. So, it's just about not possible. Not so cool. How do I do this? What is stopping me now? Fuel line, the speed governor, or what?
this one is just spinning around but and it's not maybe not really in the track hmm It's slightly out of its track, isn't it? So now that is in place, a little worry about if this is not totally correct, this one. But I don't know how to turn it now. But maybe I can figure out how to. If this reached the bottom. Okay, I turned it a little and now it's correct. But the thread here is bad, but I don't care for now. I can uh, put some glue on it, on the threads uh, later on, easy to access this, so it's kind of just spinning. <laughs> and I'm closing in to something, is there something wrong there, no it's not. Then it is the coil, and there is a grounding plate there, I guess it's on the right place, I hope so, it's laying there, I guess it's uh, grounding. And that is supposed to be on here, it's the stop switch, and that one I hope it's long enough, it's supposed to be on there, okay, hope this is not going to be in, in some conflict. with the cover no it will work slightly tight 
slightly tight. Could uh, loosen it, make the distance a little bigger. If I just can do that. Yeah, this card is a little bad in, on the edges. It's too close in the middle now. Yeah, I go for that. See how it will be. It does not collide now. And then try to get this on. And hopefully there is some connection on the stop wire now, still have, need to measure if the contact is there. And the fuel line. Should enter in there. The clutch, there is gasoline on it. And uh, what is this? This is the handle. It had a little some smart plastic device on one side. And some shorter screws on the other side. Where is the smart plastic piece? There it is. This kind of thing. Can I see the tracks? Suppose where it's supposed to be, like this. Okay. Not like that. More likely like that. Okay. It's supposed to be here. I guess. Okay, there was two of them shorter, that's this two. Ah, 
I guess uh, it's a longer one here too. I'm scratching inside my finger. All you can experience. Could it be this long screw in here? Is that the right way? I just hope so. Aha, this wire is uh, compromised. It uh, could touch the flywheel, and that we don't like. So it's too short, actually. So now the, it's uh, squeezed behind the dust cover and uh, actually the starter cover so the wire will not just jump out and onto the flywheel the chainsaw it has gas on it but uh, I did uh, dry out the carburetor but after all it's 350 so I don't need to give it help, I think. There is also a decompression valve on it. I hope this not squeeze out, no. It will not. I have this part too. Okay. And it's how to mount that. I'm not really sure. How could that be? There should be a screw or something in there, I guess. And just a screw down there. And that screw is here on the greasy and oily old one. But what kind of screw is that? Looks like it's something I could uh, screw out to say, say it that way. Then there is a new day and new possibilities. And this uh, Husqvarna 350 should be, uh, I think it's a professional uh, chainsaw. And um, I continued and found that I could uh, screw this with uh, ordinary Torx. And I found uh, upstairs, I found uh, the bolt should be here. You just tighten it with uh, ordinary Torx. And uh, the spring, you make sure the spring here is in place. So you just uh, put the handle, uh, brake handle in and uh, center it and, and put the uh, bolt in place. And this too was uh, pretty ordinary. So it has long threads going all the way into the muffler. So I was able to do that too with only that, uh, with this uh, Torx. And then it is to be uh, to continue. Yeah, I was in shock. I see I'm missing a uh, bar uh, tensioner. So this annoying uh, clutch, I need to take it off again. But now I have some trays here which I can uh, knock on. Only when I take it on again, I don't have those trays. But it become fairly cool. This should be a very good chainsaw. There you have the old uh, casing. Not much to brag about. When uh, oiling here, the oil is sipping under the 
under the muffler and everywhere. So I guess I took almost I, I, I took everything you could take from this, only only this uh, rubber here for the fitting the carburetor. I didn't take this off and I don't take off the bar bolts. So now this is garbage. So then I have to change the tensioner, the bar tensioner, not to change it but to mount it. So to do that I have to take off the plate here and take off the clutch. piston stopper in place don't want to break the cast iron on the clutch Ah, oh, there it came. Off with the drum and there is the needle bearing. Or maybe not. It's like it didn't go deep enough. Never done this before. It's like this should be deeper. Doesn't feel right. This is not right. And suddenly it's become deeper. I don't know what stopped it. Small deep. Then now it looks right didn't go deep enough first time not sure what's holding it back could be I didn't align it exactly on the top there Take a little look on the on the needle bearing. Uh, it looks like it's missing a needle, so I want to replace that. I found a new one. All the needles is on place, and I grease it a little. It belonged to another saw, should be the same, but uh, when I observe it, it's a little shorter in length. 
but it seems to uh, fit perfectly onto the drum. Then it is the annoying uh, clutch. I have a lot of grease on my fingers. This goes to garbage, of course. Make sure you put it the right, right way. This is the right way. There is inscription here, off, and there is a little hook here so you can take it apart. Look on the springs, make sure they are correct on place. So now it is take up out this stopper and uh, make the starter puller a little detour so you don't jam the baffles and you try to tighten the clutch. Not sure if I will have any success on tightening the clutch very much because this is uh, I don't have the grip tools or anything to now oh, it's annoying threads here. Do I find the threads? Yeah, finally I did. Seems like I did. So it's links it's this way. Take away the puller a little so it doesn't jam the baffles, of course, as I told. So it could be many things at once to try to keep in order. I give it a little kick there, not much, and the chainsaw is very wiggly. There is a reason why the clutch is links, because it's the tightening it. When you drive the chainsaw, it's uh, tightening, because the chainsaw goes this way, and uh, the threads is going uh, this way, so it uh, naturally spins to keep it more and more tight. I guess I will not be able to tighten it much this way. Hopefully a little, and hopefully it's good enough. Yeah, it's turning freely. So, does it uh, look good or does it look good? Now it's closing in. This is a high value chainsaw. Clean off a little dust. So I, uh, I cleaned the cylinder cover a little too. And the stop switch is working. It also has a decompression valve. So, from nothing to this, not bad. 
and a 350 is high value of stuff. I found a bar and I found a chain. <clears throat> and uh, not sure if it's sharp. Feels sharp. Feels very good. I have a lot of chains and bars so I cannot kind of know the starters on everyone. Check the front uh, sprockets. Turning around with no problems. Put the chain on. Ah, let's see. Make sure you have the right chain, it's not too uh, wide. If you have a, a 1.3 uh, track in the bar, you cannot put a 1.5 uh, chain on it, of course. Then it will be have a resistance and it will not run freely, so always test if it's run freely and good around, to be sure. And now this is from John Sered metal no plastic should fit for this yeah looks like it fits okay go straight into the to the brake lock I make sure there is brake on it yeah the brake is there everything is perfect so this this things uh, align with the handle so we, we switch this uh, to the side and then you lock the clutch drum and then you lock the chain so you have a functional brake start to look like something now And then the tensioner is in here for adjustment. Lift it a little. Upward, the bar press it a little upward, but uh, I don't know if that's so necessary on this saw. But in general, it's a good thing to do. Pressure it up a little. I think this saw is so doesn't feel any uh, wiggling on the bar, so it feels like it's pretty much locked. But some of the older chainsaws, you can wiggle the bar a little. So then you wiggle it up a little when you check the tension on the chain. A powerful and colorful chainsaw. Could even clean it slightly better on the bar cover. So it's looking optimal, cool and good.
어. 소. So, 조크. That's all. Choke in. The compression valve. It's a little bit something. Hmm, round it now. It's a little bit not quite okay. Where you adjust the carburetor on this, there it is. It's like it's need a little in. if I can reach the adjustment. I put it up a little on idle. I would put it in a little. There, I feel. Not sure if I got it. Could be a little moisture in the gas after I clean it. Could be I uh, should uh, adjust it a little. Could be it's too rich. And to have a good look on that, I take off the cover again. Could be a few lines, a little bit different things. But before I changed the casing, it was uh, working perfect. But now it's, uh, I need to do the water. I don't think that's making a difference now. some block location on the and how to remove that I don't know they have some uh, funny stuff here on the adjustment screws I'm not so familiar about what that is
perfect. I just uh, turn up the idle a little. <coughs> That's all I did. Uh, maybe need to turn it down a little. Feels very good this kind of a Swedish thing. Feels very good. <laughs> 